Hey you guys, Carter here with Century 21 Affiliated, and today we're going to be discussing what is a pre-approval letter. You hear everyone talking about it, but you're just, you're wondering like, what the heck are these people even saying to me? Um, whether it's your parents, your relatives, um, or even your real estate agent. So in this video, I'm going to break down what a pre-approval letter is and why you need one. So a pre-approval letter, basically in a very layman's terms um, definition is, it is a letter from your lender or banking institution that states how much house you can afford, whether it's $100,000, $150,000, $200,000, or whatever your financial situation qualifies you for um, is what a pre-approval letter is. So how do they generate a pre-approval letter and how do you get one? Well, you just go and talk to your mortgage lender or a lender of anyone's recommendation, whether it's a family member, friend, um, or I can even give you one and I'll link it down below. Um, but you talk with them and then they pre-approve you um, up to a certain dollar amount. They'll check your credit, your credit history, um, your debt to income ratio, your actual income that you're bringing in on a monthly and yearly basis. And then they'll generate a number on how much house you can afford. I always say it's probably smart to stay below the pre-approved value just so you're not house poor. Um, and I go into that definition in another video. But you want to be comfortable with your house payment each month. You don't want to be stretching it too, too far. Um, so that is what a pre-approval letter is. Now, why do you need one? Why do realtors always ask, are you pre-approved? Um, the simple explanation for this is most real estate agents don't want to show a buyer who's not pre-approved because then they are not sure if they will be paid or not. Like say, for example, if you have something on your credit history or credit report, that would deter you from ever being able to obtain a loan, the real estate agent would want to know that um, first rather than six months down the road after they've showed you hundreds of houses. That is why it's so important to get pre-approved beforehand and then you have an idea on how much house you can afford. What I always recommend to my clients is don't get the actual pre-approval till you're ready to write an offer. And what I mean by this is a lender can look at your credit history, they can look at um, actually not your credit history, but they can look at your debt to income, your income, your yearly income, um, and go off of what you tell them. And then when it's time to do the actual pre-approval, they will pull your credit because it does ding your credit score a little bit each time. Um, and it's good for 90 days. So you just want to be wary of that. Um, and you don't want to say get a pre-approval in January and then in May, get another one. And then in September, get another one. Cause that's going to ding your credit score each time. And in most cases, you can afford about the same amount of house um, or more depending upon if your income has went up in the meantime. So that is what a pre-approval letter is. If you have questions or you want assistance in buying your first house, please reach out to me, fill out the form down below, or give me a call or text on my cell phone, which is 920-252-2864. Have a great day, you guys. I appreciate you watching.